So the curve that you'll see on landing night may look a little funny relative to your intuition, but it truly is that Doppler frequency shift. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, approximately at the time after we deploy the parachute, we actually transition our communication mode with Odyssey, and at that point we'll see a lot of ones and zeros. We're transmitting data at 32 kilobits per second, and we actually will be, if we close the uh, communication link with Odyssey, and the vehicle can be just fine if we don't, so uh, don't panic if we don't get it. Just uh, it's, it's possible we won't close the link. We do feel we will. But if we do, we will be getting a significant amount of data all the way through touchdown, and we actually leave the radio on for one minute after touchdown to record a lot of the data that we collected during the descent, as well as the vehicle attitude and vehicle tilt and other, uh, other aspects of the mission. conclude our news briefing for today. We invite you to follow the mission on the web at www.nasa.gov slash phoenix. On that site, you'll find a complete list of upcoming briefings and the landing schedule. You'll also find a link to our landing blog that we'll be updating over the next few days, including from the mission control area on Sunday. Now, if you'd like, you can stand by, and we will replay all of the videos that we showed during this briefing. That will start momentarily. Thank you for joining us today.